Hi, Barry Foster here, and welcome back to episode number seven of The Scottish Job with uh, Glenn Roths up in Scotland. And today we've got a South Challenge Cup third round match against Ormiston. Ormiston are the, uh, the amateur side that we played earlier this year in another cup competition. So I'll be uh, hoping the boys can do the double on uh, over at Ormiston. But before we get to the cup game, we have made some signings, which has uh, been really good. We've signed two players, definitely. Ollie Hamilton, a 19-year-old. I've basically signed him to be a winger. But as you can see, he can play in a striking role. And his preferred uh, position there is target man. He's not overly tall at 184 centimetres, but he's got very good jumping reach of 14. So um, I think he's going to be a good addition and he's only 19, so he fits the criteria with the board. And uh, Scott Miller, um, a 21-year-old striker, uh, we've signed him as well. And I think he looks pretty good. Some of those attributes there, I think, are quite uh, impressing, impressive. And I am looking at the long term here because um, my leading uh, striker, McManus, as you can see here, um, he's already scored 14 goals for the season, but he's about to turn... 39 years of age and I really don't think I'm going to have him at the club next season. That's if I'm here next season, of course. So um, they've been the two uh, signings we've got on board. We do have Harris O'Connor, another 19-year-old uh, who has agreed to a contract with us, a central defender. Um, I hope the board are going to allow him to come on board because I think he, he's going to be quite a good signing for us as well. And um, on the other side of the ledger, Luke Moffat, will be uh, leaving us on the 1st of uh, January to join um, Blair Gowry. Uh, Luke uh, is a defender, but he really wasn't seeing much game time here with the uh, the first team. And so I decided to um, send him on his way. We also do have uh, Ryan McInnes and also Todd Mitchell, two other players that have been transfer transferred listed as well. So um, that's what's been happening with players, with um, staff. We do have one new scout, Jimmy Kelly, a 37-year-old. Uh, this came via my DOF, uh, judging ability of two and two. Nothing great, but um, at least it's better than nothing. Um, with the schedule, we've been doing, well, pretty well since our last video. As you can see, we defeated Coldstream in the East of Scotland qualifying cup third round. We did the double over them, five goals to two with uh, Finn Kirk, Bell, McLeod K, Yusuf and Cameron all scoring goals. That was an excellent win and quite surprising because Coldstream, I thought, really weren't a bad side. Then in the league, we uh, went away from home and we beat Preston Athletic five goals to one. McManus with a hat-trick. Charlie Denton with a penalty and Dylan Honeyman scoring his first goal of the season. Then we uh, once again had to go away in the King Cup third round and we defeated Canool two goals to one. Once again, Cameron and McManus being the, the goal scorers. And in our last match, our fourth away game on the trot, we defeated Burntisland five goals to nil in the league. This was another excellent uh, performance by the boys with uh, McManus, Kirk with a brace, Brendan Cameron with a goal, and Ollie Hamilton scoring on his debut. So that was really good to see. So when we look at the uh, the table very quickly, as you can see, Glen Roths, top of the table after um, eight matches with 19 points. Uh, Harriet Watt University, um, just one point behind us, and then Canool coming up also on 18 points. So fairly tight, but um, we've had a pretty good start to the season, and a goal difference of 18 is uh, certainly very good to uh, to see. And when we look at season preview, it's interesting. When it comes to the betting, we are now favoured as um, basically winning this competition at 3 to 10. If you remember, when the season kicked off, I think we were in uh, fifth position as far as the, uh, the betting boys were concerned. So I think we've done fairly well so far in the season, but I must admit... There's about another 20 matches to be played in the league and anything could happen in those 20 matches. So I'm not going to start counting my chickens just yet. But anyway, without further ado, I think uh, let's go and play 
Ormiston in the South Challenge Cup third round. See if we can make it through to the uh, to the next round. And uh, just remember, the board is very interested in this particular cup competition. And this is our starting 11 for today's game. Richardson in goals, Denton, Doig, Dal and Crisp along the back line with Kirk, Honeyman, Bell and McLeod K in midfield. Miller, he'll be uh, in the starting uh, 11 for the first time, pairing up with uh, McManus. There'll be our two strikers and on the bench we'll have uh, Crawford, Taylor Moffat, Ollie Hamilton, Robbie Duncan uh, Andrew Duffy and Abdul Youssef. Cammy Lumsden, he's um, out injured with uh, a thigh injury. And we get Denton back. He's been um, out for only one match. He had a, a minor injury as well. So anyway, that's the starting 11. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, well, I'm going to take the very bottom one, stick to the plan, stay patient, and we'll be fine. Fingers crossed that will be the uh, the right thing to say. And as usual... A bumper crowd here at uh, Glen Roths, but it's Ormiston, the amateur side, that uh, get the uh, the match underway. We, uh, as I said earlier, we did defeat them in another cup competition. I think it was four goals to one. But uh, this really should be a match that we uh, we win once again. But um, upsets do occur. But uh, the form lately of uh, the team has been really, really good to see. They're really clicking uh, well as a, a side. And some of the young players are um, performing extremely well, considering they're... Oh, <laughs> there's Finn Kirk talking about uh, one of the young players. A very quick early goal, only in the fifth minute. Let's have a look at this uh, replay. Denton with the throw. This is Miller, the new boy with a... Quite a deep cross to McLeod K. Cuts it back to Bell. That's a shot. And Kirk diving in. I'd say studs first. And he uh, he puts that into the back of the net. So a good start by uh, the Glens. This is what we wanted to see. Get Ormiston on the back foot straight away. Wet. Seven degrees. I guess it's getting a little bit chilly up in Scotland. We're heading into mid-November. Bell, who's uh, playing very well as a playmaker. This has been cleared only as far as Denton. Crisp almost look, almost losing out there. Crisp, who has his opportunity at uh, right back today because of Lumsden's injury. That, that was a bit of a crude attempt at a, a tackle there. Anyway, McManus. Now this is Crisp. Can he get a cross in? I think he will. Nice and deep. Yeah, but that's, uh, Kirk didn't didn't challenge for that. I thought he might have um, tried to get a header. Now Denton, back after his injury. Oh, gee whiz. Everybody, everybody missed that. Defenders, attackers, McLeod K. This is Kirk. And his shot's blocked. He's on a yellow as well. Blocked again and finally cleared. Well, we're certainly having some opportunities there. But uh, they seem to be putting a fair bit of pressure on the visitors. Now Denton, he can uh, try and set up another attack, but he goes back to Dahl. Plenty of room out here for Crisp. See if he can get another good cross in. He just cuts it back to Bell. Here comes his cross. That's uh, the keeper punching it away. Oh, and there's Honeyman with his uh, second goal of the season. A blockbuster from outside the D. And that just uh, roared into the back of the net. So 2-0 two, two now to uh, Glenn Roths. A very good start in the game. Crisp with another deep cross. And Honeyman just firing it back in. And the keeper were way out of position. And he couldn't do anything. So, okay, how many goals are we going to score in this game? Is this going to be another 5-6 goal thriller? Or will Ormiston get their act together and come back at us? But they've, they've barely had 26% possession. So um, it's been all Glen Roths. I, mean, I guess the way things are going, I don't need to do any shouts. I don't need to upset the boys with a, 
a stupid shout, so we'll just leave things the way they are. But here comes a, an attack by Ormiston, but uh, Richardson off his line. We've got our keepers playing as a sweeper keeper. I'm not quite sure whether Richardson is going to be my first choice keeper next season. This is good play. And they've got a goal. OK, Dean Neve um, has put it in the back of the net. So Ormiston, maybe I shouldn't write them off. This is uh, was some nice teamwork here. Ramsey flicks it to Smith and Neve, he just beats the keeper. Yes, I was saying that uh, Richardson, I'm not quite sure whether he's going to be really my number one keeper next season. I have a feeling I could maybe do better when it comes to goalkeepers. But uh, I'll think about that a bit later in the season. But so far, the, uh, the players that my DOF and scouts are, are putting forward, uh, I think are pretty good. I must admit, I can't, uh, I can't grumble with the quality of players that I have seen and uh, signed so far. But anyway, a free kick, and this is Denton. Far post, but it's been dealt with rather well. Chris will probably go to his right. And he does. Thought he was going to pass it. He's going to go for a bit of a gallop himself. He hasn't done too badly at right back. And here comes his cross. Well, not a bad header, but uh, the keeper always had that covered. Just over 10 minutes until half time. I certainly would like a uh, third goal before the, uh, the break. I think that would make things rather comfortable. 2-1, it's always a little bit uh, a little bit dangerous. Anyway, this is Chris, but gained with another run. I think he's shown too much of the ball. But now Denton will get it on the other side. He might be able to do better than Chris, but I think he will. Here comes his cross. That's been headed away, but uh, Chris should get to it first. Uh, that was McManus with a shot. Oh, Miller. Well, Scott Miller, the new signing, first goal of the season. That proves he's, he's going to be, I think, a very good striker if we can keep him long term. McManus had the shot. It was blocked, but Miller went after it and uh, from a quite an acute angle, fired it past the keeper. Here's McManus with his uh, shot and Miller. Oh yes, beats the, beats the keeper on the near post. The keeper probably should have had that covered. So that's our third goal. That's what I wanted just before uh, half time. Scott Miller is playing as a pressing forward. Now McLeod, oh gee, hits the post. McLeod K, that could have been four. McLeod K has done excellent, uh, I think, at... Uh, on the right wing, he, he can also play as a central midfielder. That's also um, one of his natural positions, but he's done very good out on the right. Miller with a cross, but that's been cleared. Now Bell, good interception, Bell our playmaker. This is Miller. Oh, he tried his luck. Long way out. Must be feeling pretty confident after that goal. But Ormiston with a bit of a bit of a rare attack. But this is Ramsey. Good run. And he's onside as well. Not a bad cross. But uh, we've cleared it. Okay, Macau. No, end of a highlight. Well, certainly when it comes to possession, it's been all Glen Roth. 75% possession. Four corners to uh, zero, and certainly uh, on the uh, the shot stat, thirteen to two, they've been dominating the uh, the half. But uh, Ormiston have got a goal on the board, so um, can't write them off. Not going to do that. Anyway, that's half time. Seventy four people in attendance. Nobody, nobody here following Ormiston. That's a bit of a shame. But let's go and chat to the boys. OK, once again, let's uh, point the old finger. And I think I'll tell the boys that uh, we're doing well, but let's uh, find another gear to take charge of this match. Because I really think uh, that's what we should be doing, considering Ormiston 
are uh, an amateur side, not even semi-professional. Long ball, looking for McLeod K, but uh, good header. I think Ormiston, I had a look at their league. They're not doing too badly, I think. They're not near the top, but uh, they're certainly, from memory, not near the bottom. But uh, Miller with a free kick. Dahl, free header, but over the bar. I think he should have done better from that position. Matthew Dahl. Anyway, young Kirk, who once again has done very well out on the left with a goal to his name. But he's on a yellow card. This is played forward, looking for Miller, but uh, McManus, oh, good attempt, just past that post. So here's the man in question, and again, Crisp, good cross, looking for Kirk. But uh, his header easily dealt with by the keeper. Around right about 60 minutes, we'll uh, think of making some substitutions. Give somebody else a bit of a run on the park. Maybe uh, um, Ollie Hamilton, a new signing on the right wing, could be good. McLeod K, Kirk. Ooh, I think uh, that's not a corner. So that was a, a shot there from Kirk. Of course, uh, Ollie Hamilton, he did score in his debut, which was a, a very good thing to, to see. But this is McManus now. He'll probably play it back to Chris, and he does another cross that's dealt with. Now, uh, McLeod K. He's had a good match. Denton, he's pretty good at crossing a ball. Uh, McLeod Kager, he'll have a, oh, good shot, but well blocked. Now Crisp can drive it back in. Uh, that's uh, too close to the keeper. So plenty of players, a rating over seven. Only uh, Richardson, Dahl and Doig are still in the sixes. But um, once again, it's been a pretty good uh, team performance, I must admit. And I think uh, since we're coming up to 60 minutes, let's make that substitution. I think I would like to see Ollie Hamilton on again, see what he can do on the uh, the, the right wing. And uh, who else should I maybe put on the park? I think that's all we'll do at this stage, just that, just that one. We'll see how Ollie goes. Most of the players are standing up pretty, pretty well with fitness. This is Kirk looking for McManus. Oh, beautiful. His 14th goal of the season. Is that right? I thought he might have had a little bit more than 14. But uh, a very nice cross by, uh, by Kirk. And McManus, free header, beats the keeper quite easily. So that's the goal we were looking for. No question of offside here. Clearly on. So um, no need to see that uh, a third time. So 24 shots to two, 72% possession. He's certainly a, certainly a pretty pretty good uh, performance. I guess because they're um, almost an amateur, you'd probably be expecting more goals than this. But um, I tend to be rather conservative with the way I set my teams up. I don't have them playing swashback buckling football because I'm always a little bit wary of um, football manager and how it can suddenly turn around and uh, bite you. But let's make our final um, final substitutions. I think I'd like to get on um, Andrew Duffy for Finn Kirk. Get, let's get rid of that um, yellow card. And Mr. Duffy, he does like to be a winger. He's got a very sh good, strong left foot. And I think I'll also like to bring on Abdul Youssef. I think I'll bring him on for... Um, Mr. McManus, and I'm going to play him as a poacher because he's got a little bit of speed on him. So I'd like to see how he uh, how he goes in the last 15 odd minutes. Hopefully we'll see uh, some more highlights and maybe a fifth goal for the boys. But it'll certainly be very good to get through to uh, the next round of this uh, cup competition. 
And that, that was almost in going through and having another good opportunity for a second goal. But uh, well saved by Richardson. But I think I'll do my first and only shout for the game. Let's uh, call out some praise to the boys because they have done well. This is Ormiston with a, a free kick. Very deep. But uh, dealt with by Doig. But they'll get another opportunity of a cross. But that's well blocked. Now Hamilton, he can come away with this. Maybe set up a counter-attack. He wants to play a long ball forward. And he does to Youssef. He's on side. But he plays it back. Oh, these guys are way offside, surely. No. I thought Duffy was maybe offside. So that's the uh, the fifth goal. Duffy on the, from the left wing has made it 5-1. Uh, Let's have a look at this replay. Hamilton to, you, to Youssef. He plays it back to Hamilton. Now, I thought, OK, Duffy must have been just onside. It was the other player that was drift, drifting into an, an offside position. This will probably tell us better. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, good goal. Good to see uh, somebody coming off the bench and uh, finding the, the back of the net. So 5-1, another... Uh, we seem to seem to like scoring five goals in a match lately. Not complaining, but uh, we've had a lot of victories. 5-1, 5-2... Three minutes of added time. Will be will there be enough time for a sixth goal? I think we're good enough to probably do that. This is Hamilton again. Gets his cross in. This is Miller. Oh, the beautiful header. Miller made plenty of room. Made sure of his header. 6-1. As I said before, I think Miller is going to be a really good signing for us. I just hope later in the season I can uh, sign him for next season because I think he will probably take the place of uh, McManus but uh, I did like that and uh, the two new si signings both combining together so this has been another excellent game the board should be delighted that we're getting through to the next round probably uh, the dying seconds of this match I'll give Ormiston their credit they uh, they have scored that was a little bit sloppy there by Doig, but uh, he won the ball back. But that's it. Final whistle. Six goals to one. Very uh, 30 shots to six. Uh, nearly 70% possession. So uh, an extremely good uh, game. Let's go and have a little chat to the boys in the dressing room. Okay, I think pretty sim simple. I think um, put out the arms and say... Um, very well done. An excellent win because it was. Let's see what happens next uh, with, uh, with our schedule of games. And as you can see, the headline of six of the best for Glen Roths. Uh, Deputant Miller makes immediate impact, and he does. I was very, very pleased with his two goals and... Uh, a rating of nine in his first game, I think that's excellent. Four key key passes. Passes completed, 93%. So we've got to certainly shake his hand and say, well done. He was superb in front of goals. No doubt about that. So our next game is uh, against Leith in uh, four days' time in the, uh, in the uh, East of Scotland Qualifying Cup fourth round. But let's find out who do we play in the next next round of uh, that cup competition that we've just played. Okay, we've been uh, drawn uh, against uh, Pennykilk Athletic. I think that's how you say their name, Pennykilk Athletic. Um, very lucky, we've got the uh, the home ground advantage again. That's right at the end of uh, January, 29th of January, 2022. And I think uh, Pennykilk will be uh, probably our toughest opponent to date. They play in the East of Scotland Premier Division. Um, they're coming fourth and they have a one-star reputation. So I, I can only assume that they're going to be a much more difficult opponent. We have signed uh, Harris O'Connor. I'm very pleased about this. He's come on board as a, a new centre-back. Very good positioning. 16, very determined as well. Um, tackling of nine, I quite, uh, I quite like that. So he's a, 
a third new signing in uh, just uh, a number of weeks. And uh, looking ahead of our schedule, what we're going to do, we're going to um, probably play a good five, six games off camera, or offline, I should say, not using a camera. Um, I think we'll come back for the Nubra game, a home game, 1st of uh, January 22. I think that could be quite interesting because if we have a look at the current table, Nubra are currently in fifth position, only four points behind us. So I think that uh, could be quite an interesting game. And it's a league game and I haven't been showing too many league games because of all the Cup, uh, cup games we seem to have. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the video for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. We've certainly had another uh, outstanding victory in a cup competition, which will certainly keep the, uh, the board happy. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That'll be very great. And um, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Always happy to uh, read your comments. But until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.